Hey everyone, this is Jen Polson. I'm coming to you live from the car. <laughs> Grace and I are headed to Long Island. We have this amazing driver that's taking us from New York City to Long Island today because um, as part of you know, or as some of you know, part of my job is to do speaking. So for those of you who are new, or maybe you're seeing this video on YouTube, uh, my name is Jen Polson. I am an energy coach, and I'm the founder of Jen Polson Consulting. I have a couple coaches that work with me, and we help our clients overcome blocks and um, the stress of success, of getting to your success, achieving your success success, helping you figure out what your purpose is, what your dreams are, and then really supporting you in that journey of self-discovery. And um, I recently heard a quote um, that, that was actually given by Nike, and it said something like, you know, growth, there's no finish line to growth. It's just, it's something that we do for our whole lives. And so... I am a true believer in that. As long as we're growing and moving forward, we can be accomplishing something all the time. And the more that we invest in our own, um, yeah, just, and more that we invest in our own, you know, overcoming our blocks, the better and bigger and more amazing things we get to do. And so, um, anyway, I wanted to just share a couple, just a couple little thoughts really quick, um, and it kind of goes along with the first quote that I just said. Hey Susan, thanks for joining. Um, is growth isn't a period of life, it's a way of life. And I love that. Hey Arsika, hey Donna. I'm just going to read that again. Growth isn't a period of life, it's a way of life. And that statement is so powerful. It really, um, it really helps us let go of the excuses of why we can't do something, why we can't have more success, why, can't, why we can't have happier relationships, why we can't have healthier bodies. You know, it's not that we, you know, even if take health for example, it's not like we lose weight and then go back to eating like crap. No, we, we're, we become and we become health, we develop health by constantly getting into the habit of, of taking care of our, our bodies. And it's the same with, um, it's a, my amazing Lyft driver is driving the car, Sean. He showed up in this great Cadillac, he's got a suit on, I feel like I'm someone special being driven around and my daughter Grace is with me too. Grace, do you want to say hi? It's Grace's birthday today, so we are celebrating that as well. Anyway, so um, let's see, where was I? Oh, so what we, what we do throughout our lives is we're always becoming something. And if we're not becoming something, then we're stagnant and we're not we're not doing a whole lot and when we're not doing a whole lot life is not very happy and I'm not talking about doing a lot like running ourselves to the ground I'm talking about you know loving ourselves understanding who we are and then and then sharing that love with everyone around us so I want to share a little um, hey you guys thanks for coming on I want to share a little experience that happened the other day while Grace and I were um, walking through New York City. Um, you know, she's she just turned 12 today, and I don't know if you guys have ever been in, in New York City and Manhattan. It's crazy. Like, you have to really pay attention to when you're crossing the street and the cars and the... And, um, and even the people, you know, as you're crossing the street, lot, you just have to navigate through so many variables. And so, you know, we had been out all, all morning, you know, 
doing stuff, shopping mostly, and um, we're headed home, and I'm just watching this child of mine, and I'm just like, Grace, you're so confident, and, and she's like, Mom, I'm on a mission, and, <laughs> and her mission, our mission was to get home, because it had been a while bef since we had visited the restroom, so, you know, she was focused on that, and it didn't, it, 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 all of the variables, anything that came up did not get in her way of, like, she was confident in, in where she was going. And I thought that was so profound. I thought that, you know, as we, as we have a mission, as we know where we're headed, we have more confidence. It doesn't matter what's in front of us. It doesn't matter what's around us. Like when we know where we're going, we're, we're going to get there. And in, it's the knowing part that takes some effort. It, sometimes I think it takes more effort to know where you're going and decide where you're going than it does to actually get, get going. And so my encouragement for you today is decide, you know, what's your mission? What do you want to be doing this week? What do you want to do today? What do you want to be doing this year? Like, where are you going in life? You know, it's easy to um, whew, turn in a corner. It's easy to, um, you know, just get in the habit of living every day the same with no goals, no inspiration, no nothing to look forward to. And I call that just survival mode, you know? Um, but Grace taught me a really great lesson this week in understanding how important it is to have a mission and be focused on that. And we had fun. We had fun as we were getting, you know, back to our hotel. We were chatting and people watching and, but, you know, we stayed nice and focused and it, and it was fun. So that is my encouragement to you today is to, to look at your life, decide where you want to go and know that as you take those steps forward, you're going to come up with to some resistance. Okay. That's just a normal part of life. You're going to have people that don't get where you're going. And so they may discourage you or they may ridicule you, or they may, you know, laugh, whatever. Just don't worry about that because, you know, their, their mission is not your mission and your mission is not their mission. So it doesn't matter if they get it or not. Um, you may come up against negative head talk, like, who do I think I am to be able to do something that cool or who do I think I am to start this business or who do I th think I am to you know even ask for what I want so pay attention to that head talk because that's another form of resistance that will come up and it's okay the head talk is actually it can be a, a stepping stone to getting you to your next level to helping you understand what needs to heal um, thanks you guys for coming on. It's so great to have all of you. So, um, so just pay attention to those two things. The people who don't get you and may try and discourage you and then your own discouragement that comes from your own head talk. So you've got to be aware of those things and not let it overcome you. And ironically enough, that is what my specialty is. I help people overcome, you know, those blocks and that resistance that comes up inside, in your head, in your heart. Sometimes we just need help overcoming that. Sometimes that stuff comes up because we have things from our past that we need to heal. And that's okay. It's possible. And my team and I love to help support people who are really ready to be on their mission and to bring love and light into the world and to do some, some amazing things. We're all capable of doing amazing things and we all have the same opportunities. It's all around us, but it's 
depends on what we see, okay? Are you seeing all the opportunities, hey Becca? Or are you seeing all the limitations? Are you looking towards your future? Or do you keep reliving your past mistakes and your past, you know, pain? So if you're ready to get out of some of those old habits of hanging out in the past, hanging out with your excuses and your stories, and you want some support, I'm your girl. I've got a whole team that's here to help you. So, does anyone have any questions for me? Hey, Becca, glad you're here today. Becca's my niece. Um, Lisa, hi Mariah, Christina, Orsica, Jilly, hey Diane, thanks for being here you guys, hey Krista, does anyone have any questions for me about overcoming blocks, you can ask me whatever you want, let me just say that, you know, I have blocks that I, that come up all the time, almost every day, and, and that's just a, par, a normal part of life. Ooh, thanks. I just bought this shirt in New York City. <laughs> it's one of my favorite colors to wear. Thanks, Christina. Um, so one of the things that I do to, to overcome my blocks is just to take some quiet time every day and, and think about like what I'm saying to myself. If I'm saying I'm not good enough, or if I'm worried I'm not good enough, I write that down on one side of a paper, and then I take a few minutes and I ask God, or ask the divine, okay, what's the truth? Is the truth that I'm not, is the truth I'm not good enough? Of course not. And then I, I listen. I listen to hear what the divine tells me the truth is. Okay, we've got some questions here. What is the best way to overcome the feeling of being overwhelmed at the end of the month in my doTERRA business? Um, okay, the first thing that popped into my mind for that is take a, take a self-evaluation and see where you're procrastinating during the month, okay? See where you're wasting time. See where you're putting off things that could be done earlier. And um, so you're, more, you're pacing yourself a little bit better. And the other thing that I, would, that I would recommend is anytime that you have that overwhelmed feeling, like hand it over to the divine. I do a little visualization that I got from Gabby Bernstein where I just visualize everything that I'm worried about, everything, all the stress, all the overwhelm, and I put it in a basket and I just hand it over to my angels or hand it over to the divine, however you want to look at that. Um, and it frees up my head space, it frees up um, that overwhelming feeling because I'm handing it off to something that's bigger than me that knows how to handle it. And then I just stay open. Okay, let's see. Thanks, that's a great question, Christina. Um, okay, can we do a quick clearing? Yeah, we'll do that in a second. Mariah, how can I get past wondering what other people are thinking when I'm teaching a class? I love that. Okay, here's, here is the truth. It's none of your business what they're thinking, okay? One of my favorite things to tell my clients is you are just the messenger. That's it. Your job is to bring the message and the message isn't even yours, okay? And this can apply to our parenting. It can apply to maybe you're teaching a class at church. Like, the message isn't yours. It can, it can apply to any message that you're giving. When you have that intention of giving the message that the people need to hear, like from God or from the divine, then the words are gonna to come to you. Um, you're gonna have the confidence. It's not about you. It's, it's about you showing up and being in the right place at the right time with your heart open and all, all you have to do is show up in love. And that, that might be 
an interesting thing to say about being in a business meeting or teaching a, a business class or whatever, but I think everything that stems from love is successful and you're gonna feel a lot more confident in whatever you do if you're coming from a space of love and not fear. Okay, um, okay. My battery is running low, so we will, thank you so much for that, that question, Mariah, that was awesome. Um, so we'll do a quick little release, just every, go ahead and take a nice big breath, and we're gonna have the intention of just releasing any fear, any worries, any doubts, any of that overwhelm, just take a nice big breath. If you have Melaleuca oil, just you know, get some of that over your heart, get it on the back of your neck. That's so amazing to help support release, releasing that overwhelm. Oh, and look, my amazing driver's handing me a battery, <laughs> a charger, thank you. Okay. Um, so let's see, go ahead and um, just visualize yourself putting all of that fear and overwhelm outside of you, bring it outside of you and put it in a basket. And let's say the basket has a lot of love and light. So you can exchange your fear and your worries and your doubt for light. So put that light, just like bring it right into your heart space and just let it fill you up and melt away all of those fears and doubts. Okay, take another nice big breath and I'm gonna connect you all up to just whatever your goals and dreams are and to your success. And thank you so much for being here. And um, I am, yeah, I'm so blessed to have each of you in my life. So thanks again, and I will look forward to um, the next Facebook Live. You can also catch me on my YouTube channel. If you, ha you can follow me on jenpolson.com on my website. Get on my email list. We've got um, a success segment coming Transitioning with Grace. It's one of my favorite topics. So you can get some blocks cleared around just the, all the transition that happens in our lives. So, all right, you guys. Oh, and I'm on Instagram at Jen Polson. I think that's everything. All right, you guys have a great day, and I will look forward to chatting with you soon. Love you.